like to welcome everyone here today to um, to Simon Temples. Simon's kindly kindly agreed to host the meeting. Um, the sort of the, the general gist of the day is that we're going to be doing some practical um, body condition scoring of the cattle down here this morning. Um, back up to the pub for some dinner. I'm just going to briefly show you. Um, what I would be doing if I was going to be condition scoring and then I'm going to hand over to yourselves you can have a good feel at all four cattle they're quite quiet they'll not hurt you and then once you've had a good feel we can have a discussion as to where you think their condition score is um, and we can have a brief chat about it and there'll be a bit more information on it later on all right what I want you to do is just get an idea of what you're feeling for you can also feel as I say around this pelvic area can you feel the pelvis how much sort of a dip is there here? Is there plenty of fat cover? Um, and again, same along here, just see whether you can feel the bones prominently, and obviously that means she's a bit thinner, or is it, does it take a bit more pressure? Um, and then we'll have a chat where I would put them and why we would worry about it and where we look at it, okay? Some meetings we don't learn a lot, and others we, we seem to learn a real lot. Uh, the grassland I thought was very good, you know, and we've done some of that at home and it's worked well as, as yields have gone up tremendous with us grassland. And then, um, well, we've been in farming all his life, but you get little things and you just add them to what we do at home and it makes stuff easier. Some, some of the speakers we've had have been fantastic. And they, they're people who have traveled, they've, they've seen things on a wide scale and just their, their, their knowledge is, is quite, quite amazing. So just to tap into that is, is great. Yeah. One of the things I found interesting was the talks about um, the sheep and the um, use of the signet uh, recorded tubs, uh, looking at the figures to see how those have improved the, uh, the, the lamb output and the, getting them away earlier, that sort of thing. It does stimulate you to, to try and do a bit more and there's several things I have tried. At Malcolm's Farm they did a trial on, on drenches. Um, on, on mineral drenches and I've been trying one of these particular drenches for years and wondering is this any better than any of the rest and so to see that it wasn't you know confirmed to me my doubts that I had about this particular drench so that that's another thing that I wouldn't do on my own you see I couldn't test it on my own but because it took time to do this test and weigh everything the results were there to be seen. You don't know what you might pick up from a meeting like this. You'll probably, you'll probably take home something with you that you'd never even thought about. Um, this is a condition scoring meeting. You might see a, a, a silo barrier that you haven't seen before that will fit in nicely on, on your farm or um, a different way that a gate's hung. Um, it's things like that that you can take home with you. When Dunbar man came, he explained to us that um, when he was buying lambs, rather than selecting on on um, the condition, he selected more on the packaging that he'd already bought. So, so you have to pull your lambs out to fit his packaging, not to fit um, what we would have thought was the best lamb. And I'd never thought about trying to get my livestock to fit to somebody's package. It didn't seem to <laughs> well, it didn't seem working, to make sense to me. Working for the supermarkets was that. So, so we're selling smaller lambs that he said would fit in his packaging. So we'll find out. I certainly think from my perspective, very, very beneficial meetings. Uh, it's some, somewhere that every farmer can gain something from out of the day. And even if it's just a little snippet of something, he can then take that home and use it on their own farm. So yeah, vitally important, vitally important to the future of the farming industry. Yeah, 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 yes. 